Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. We are talking about position measurement, still about position measurement. Today we are going to talk about inductive position measurement. Okay, how is this working? How is this working? This device here. A coil huh? filled with nothing. Huh? So there is no nothing inside. Huh? It's a coil, so with nothing inside, an air coil, this has some inductivity. So there is a certain resistance, based on the inductivity, a certain resistance for alternating current. And how to change the inductivity? Well, we can change the inductivity by adding some iron. Here is an iron bar, and if I move this inside, the further I am inside, the higher the inductivity. So the only thing I have to do is to measure somehow the inductivity of this, of this spool, of this coil. And then I know how far the iron has been moved inside. This is how this thing is working, basically. That's it. That's inductive position measurement. I measure the inductivity of a coil, and the inductivity is changing based on the position of some metal iron part, ferromagnetic part, inside the, the coil. This would basically work. However, to increase accuracy, we are using a different setup. We are using two coils next to each other. I will draw this now here. Yeah. So we have here one coil. And then we're using next to it a, diff a, next, a next coil. Okay. So we have actually two coils. Yeah. Not one, but two next to each other. All right? And this metal part, this metal part is not is now half in both coils. Okay? Half in both coils. So here we have ferromagnetic stuff. I will draw it like that. This is ferromagnetic. material and this is moving yeah. and this is somehow attached to the thing I want to measure the position all right so why I'm using now two coils because if I'm moving in this direction coil number one is getting higher inductivity and coil number two is getting lower inductivity yeah. If I'm moving in the other direction, the coil number one is, is lower inductivity, coil number two is uh, higher inductivity. So I have here, if we consider this as, as resistance for alternating current, uh, the higher the inductivity, the higher the resistance. So, and if I have this here as voltage divider, okay, then here is a voltage, here is a voltage, yeah. here we have U1, here we have U2, and if the total voltage is the same, yeah, U, this from the, from the amplitude it will stay the same, and it will be divided in two different parts. Voltage divider, this is called. Yeah? And the higher the resistance, the higher the inductivity, the higher the resistance, yeah? the higher the voltage there is. And this is how this is working. One voltage is getting bigger, the other voltage is getting smaller. Yeah? And I just have to take the difference of the two voltages and I know exactly much better than if I only would measure one one coil, 
right? Much more. It is double, double the the. Empfindlichkeit, sensitivity. <laughs> so we double the sensitivity with this setup. Yeah, this is how inductive position measurement might work. All right. So this is called differential choke. Okay, it's not a choke. It's a choke. Differential crossel. Differential choke. This is how this is working. Okay, so we measure We'll show the position of iron core. I call this iron core. Uh, as and can. One possibility. Uh, another possibility is uh, I'm using a third coil. I'm using a third coil. So we make it like that, one coil, second coil, and then now positioning a third coil. And again, these are all cylindrical. Yeah? Again, I have here some material. Which is moving inside there. All right. And this is now some, I will connect those yeah? here. Here, connect those two. Here we have a U1, I call it U0. Here we have a U1, here we have a U2. And we here we have this measurement, this is what we measure. Right. So this is now a transformer. Yeah? This is now a transformer. This is called differential transformer. Let's have a look at this. This voltage is given. Yeah? So these, since these are coils, communicating coils, magnetically coupled coils, yeah? this, this voltage will transform to this voltage yeah? by whatever the coupling inductivity of these two coils is. Okay? And it will also be transformed to this. If the iron core is in the middle position, it will be equally transformed to here and here. Yeah? So both voltages will be the same. And if we have a look at that, what are we measuring here? Yeah? Let's see. Um minus U2 plus U1 is Um. If we have the, the, the Kirchhoff's law, yeah? we have here Um equals u1 minus u2. So we have the differential, the, the difference between the two voltages. Right? 
difference between the two voltages. And if we are in the middle and both voltages are equal, we have nothing. And we measure no voltage at all. If we are moving in this direction, this coupling inductivity will get lower. Right? So this V1 will not be as good coupled to U0 as before, so it will get smaller. And U2 will get bigger. Eh? If U1 is getting smaller and U2 is getting bigger, we will go to the negative. All right? If we move into the other direction, this coupling is getting better and this coupling is getting worse. So U2 will, U1 will be bigger, U2 will be less. Eh? And we have here also then we go to the positive. Yeah? Why are we using differential transformer? Yeah? Because it's always easier, it's more sensitive to measure round zero. Yeah? We talked about this in, in when we talked about uh, the, 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 the errors, the measurement errors, uh, that they are relative to the I can use a smaller scale, simply. Smaller maximum scale value, and so I make less absolute error. Differential transformer. Yeah. To magnetically uh, joined spools. are used with the iron core we can alter the coupling inductivity all right i'm not sure if you can imagine how this looks like well, here we have the iron core. It's located in some in some hole. And here I have coil number one, this one. Yeah? So this is throw it cut open. Coil number one, this is the windings. How many windings there are, I'm not sure. Yeah? So this is coil number one here. Yeah? Then I will draw coil number two. This one. This is located here. Coil number two, and then above this all. Here above this oil, I have here this coil, the main coil. Yeah, this is located here. This is how you could imagine how this is working. differential transformer. Also a way of how to inductively determine a position. Inductive position measurement. 
See, it's not that. It's not that difficult. Well, it's a nice feature. All right. And usually, whenever we have talked about inductive position measurement or inductive things, yeah, there was also a counterpart which was called capacitive. Huh? And now we talk, we have talked about inductive position measurement. Next time we're talking about capacitive position measurement. Huh? Why not? Yeah? <laughs> As always, always we use we are technicians. We all you we using all things of, of, of effects. Yeah. All right. So next time, capacitive position measurement for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.